My name is Hugh Kroll, um, and I'm an astronomy and physics professor here at Bennington, and I'm teaching a class this term called uh, the eclipse uh, with an exclamation point, uh, because the exclamation point is important because you should be excited about it. Uh, and this is a class that is open to students who are studying astronomy, but also students who are studying absolutely anything here. My thought in teaching this course is I want more people to have that experience. I want our students to have that experience. And here in Bennington, we're gonna get a 97% eclipse, but uh, just going a little bit north, we can actually see the total eclipse, and it's really, really, really worth it. And this is the thing I'm trying to like impress upon students, is how worth it is to see the eclipse. When teachers have the opportunity to um, invent their own courses and make classes specialized to subjects that they personally have passions in. I, I love classes like that. I try to take as many of those as possible because the teacher really enjoys what they're teaching and there's a greater chance that I will enjoy what I'm learning. Um, and it's, it's such a great experience having that at Bennington. I think a lot of the experience of an eclipse is just being there and viewing it. You know, I think that the experience that we as humans have is universal, whether we're scientists or not. I think the, the awe of seeing an eclipse and seeing sort of a, you know, 360 degree sunrise uh, during an eclipse, which is one of the things you experience, that is incredible and amazing. As a visual arts student, it's also a, um, a great source of inspiration for uh, future projects. Like not being confined to any specific boxes is just a wonderful thing for any sort of education, but especially stuff involving like science and arts, because getting to interact and be interdisciplinary, I feel like it can only improve things. Like things can only get better in both fields when we all like work together and contribute our knowledge to <laughs> just having fun and I guess advancing the cause. So this was a wonderful opportunity really. Um, and then as for my studies, I think, I guess learning any knowledge will be useful <laughs> to becoming a librarian. So I take what I can get, try to expand my horizons and that includes going to the stars. Because it's one of these things that's a very, it's very time specific, time and place specific. It happens over a narrow band for a very short amount of time. And so it is this sort of really a real event and you can't experience it other than being there. You can't experience it other than other than being there in that moment. That's the only way you can really experience what's happening. Yeah.